Hello everyone, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's Tech Tip, we'll be taking a look at a plugin known as Geomagic for SolidWorks, which sits right inside of the native SolidWorks environment. Geomagic for SolidWorks is a plugin that is used for reverse engineering purposes, and is specifically aimed to be able to interpret and extract data from mesh geometry. Mesh geometry is typically the output format of scanners, which are file types that are difficult for traditional CAD programs to be able to work with. However, using something like Geomagic for SolidWorks will allow you to very easily extract profiles, extract reference geometry, as well as direct solid or surface primitives. So in today's tech tip, we'll be taking a look at this example of reverse engineering a faucet that has been scanned. And you can see that there's a number of different features here that we can model, but what I would like to show you here is how easily we can model something like this using some of the modeling wizards that are available with Geomagic for SolidWorks. So the modeling wizards are available just from the right side of the menu here. And you can see that there's a number of different geometries that are available that we can extract directly based on the mesh profile. So let's take a look at these two circular features here. And we can safely assume that these shapes are closely related to spheres. And so I can use the extract sphere command here to simply click on the geometry and Geomagic for SolidWorks is able to intelligently extract the mesh geometry that corresponds to the selection that I've made and use all of the selections that surround it in order to create the best fitting sphere. So I can create this as a solid or a, uh, a surface. So in this case, I will select a solid and I'll do the exact same thing for the second one here. So now we have two spheres and we also have corresponding sketches that I can even go back into and modify if I wanted to change, let's say the dimension or change the alignment of the feature and so forth. So next up, we can take a look at how easy it is to extract this base profile. So we'll use the extract extrusion option to create this feature. And all I have to do is select the sidewall geometry and select drafted extrusion because of the fact that this is a drafted feature. I can also choose to either join this to my existing bodies that I've created, cut them from the existing bodies or just make it as its own separate body. So we can go ahead and select new. And there we go, we have our extrusion that has been made which I can take a look at here. And of course it has its own sketch as well. So the final thing that we can take a look at is the extract sweep option, which I can use to extract the overall shape of this faucet. So I can use my smart selection feature to highlight as much of the geometry that best represents this sweep. And I can select from a number of different options in terms of how I want the sketch to be created as well as the type of body, whether it's a solid or a surface. And again, I can choose the result type as well. So if I click OK, you see that SOLIDWORKS is able to interpret the data and give us a best fit representation of the sweep feature using the circular profile as well as a 3D sketch that contains the spline to create the path. So you can see just how easy it is to model from scan data using something like Geomagic for SOLIDWORKS to easily be able to interpret your scan data and use the existing data to quickly create geometry for CAD purposes. That's all we have for today's Tech Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you on the next one.